Hey loves, it's Carmen here, back with another video. Oh my look at this rat. Look at this rat. Look at this Oh my god. Say hi. Say hi. Say hi. Girl, you are ruining my video. <laughs> this is Athena. This is Athena. Ah. Athena, say hi. Anyway. Okay. Let's restart. Okay. Hi, guys. Welcome back. Actually, welcome back to me because I've been gone a minute. Um, so... I apologize for that. Just like every time I apologize and I start a video, I always do this. I guess what? I'm getting back on my grind, girl. Okay, girls and boys, I'm getting back on my grind. I'm gonna start doing workout videos for y'all. I'm doing challenges. I'm gonna do try on hauls. I'm gonna do um, meet my husband. Yes, a girl got married. Um, I'm going to tell you if you want to know about my story of how I got married and all this stuff, comment below because tell me right now on this video what you want to see because we are bringing new content to this channel. Also, I would very much appreciate it if you share um, my channel to any of your friends so we can expand our little family. Um, I'm also going to do a lot of vlogs with Athena because I take her everywhere with me and, um, my sister wants to be more involved in my channel and actually both of my sisters do. Anyways, let's hop into this. This is a long intro, but <laughs> I miss you guys. And um, I have a lot of new things in my life. So if you want to Q&A, please comment questions too because I I just want to keep y'all involved. Back to school. Uh, we're going to start by going through each year. And then I will tell y'all how um, it is to move from one place to another and start from a school. And tips on that. And tips on each year that you have. Because your girl is a senior. And... Um, she gets to graduate in December, so I will be really graduating in 2019, um, not 2020, but um, I'm just so ready, and I'm going to be in this program where I'm basically doing online school, but it's still at the school, so I'm going to be on a computer from 8 to 1, and it's in a different area away from the school. We used to have lunch with everybody, but um, it's also a new school. I moved to Texas. Um, whoa! <laughs> There's a whole bunch of new things about me that y'all do not know, and I'm so excited to share them. Um, anyway, so let's get into it. Freshman year is a big year. Um, I feel like starting your freshman year out really well and having those good grades and just focusing. Um, yes, it is a little nerve-wracking at first. I know I was very nervous my freshman year because it was a bigger school. Um, I didn't know everybody there. Like, there was older people there. If you're involved in athletics, that's really good. I would say get involved in any of the school clubs, athletics, choir, band, whatever you are into, I say do it. Your freshman year is where you start to begin your adult life. I know that sounds kind of weird to a, like, a 14-year-old. You're probably, like, 14-year-old. 14 yeah, you're 14 years old, probably, thir like, 13, you shouldn't be really 13, maybe if you're late bloomer, you're 13, 14, 15 years old, um, your freshman year, and that's starting your adulthood, because freaking four years from then, four or five years from then, you're gonna be a full adult, uh, so... Your freshman year should be a little challenging. You need to motivate yourself. Um, definitely my freshman year, I did good. I took the classes. Some people try to do pre-AP and stuff like that. That is good. If you want to go to a good college, I suggest doing that. Um, I'm going to go to cosmetology school in Arlington, Texas, Paul Mitchell. Um, so, and if you want to know all about that or my plans for my future, comment below. Um, but that's my plan. You need to, freshman year, you're going to probably want to get an idea of what you want to be when you grow up. You don't need to know exactly because you can change it as you go. But it's a 
good thing to know what you're going to do so that you can set your classes up. Like if you want to do business stuff, you want to be an account, accountant, you can take classes, you can take a business classes to build it up depending on what type of school you go to. Sophomore year, I kind of goofed around and stuff. I didn't take it that serious. I was at a new school. I was a new girl. Um, the beginning of school year, I did take serious like we all do um, or most of us do. And then we kind of like say whatever. I don't like being here, blah, 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 blah. But um, then sophomore year, I definitely think is that's when you're getting used to it and you kind of just want to roll with the cool kids and you do stupid stuff and uh, a lot of sophomores get into fights. I would say that and juniors, but mostly sophomores and they get caught with like vapes and stuff like that. So that's a lot of the sophomores. Uh, junior year, sophomore year, it's starting to get less drama. So if you're a person that you want less drama, I just, what I did is I stuck with one friend and I had one best friend. In high school, you're going to realize that you only really have like a small circle. I know there's a handful of people that they do have like their group that they hang out with a lot. My friend Maddie, actually, she hangs out with a lot of people. Um, and she has this group and they do things with each other. That is great. For me, it's drama. I just feel like, especially if it's a lot of girls, I just feel like being friends with one person is great or having multiple friends. But if y'all are all together, sometimes it can get clicky and clashy and it just doesn't ever really turn out well, in my opinion. Um, so as for school getting harder, it's not really for me depending on what classes you take for me it didn't get that hard my junior year was the only year i really stressed about i mean my sophomore year you take geometry like you have to take the geometry eoc the end of course exam and i was nervous about that but i had a good teacher but for junior year um you have the history eoc and i'm horrible at history guys i am so horrible at history i'm horrible at remembering things hence to why i don't post but i promise i'm putting reminders on my phone to post every single sunday yes every single sunday at least and i'll try to post at least once to twice to i'm gonna try to get three times a week okay so i can have more content for y'all um just Hang in there with me. But anyway, so my junior year was pretty chill. And um, you you tend to find out as you keep going, if you did good your freshman year, if you started out good your freshman year and you got most of your credits done, your junior year is mostly filled with selectives. And um, and then your senior, senior year will be super easy. It's going to be a breeze. Like me, I'm graduating early. You could probably do that if you stick good your freshman and sophomore year and do good. You can graduate early, I bet you, if you put your mind to it. Honey, just do it, Prom promise, trust me. Do good your freshman and sophomore year and you will have an easy last two years. Especially junior year, like junior year, I kind of like um, hung out with my friends a lot and I, I had a job, I was more focused on my job than I was with school. Um, I also babysat a lot and Junior year was just really a breeze and it felt like it went like that because it just gets easier and easier as you go. Um, I also did move my at the end of my freshman year. So that's the next thing I'm going to talk about. Senior year, I am only going till December. So I get to graduate in December. So um, and I'm not going to be like going from class to class. Um, I'll let you guys know how my first day goes. It's tomorrow. If y'all want to know how it goes, comment below and let, and you know, if you want to know what my school's like, comment below and I'll do like, after my first week, I'll do like an update or whatever. If y'all want that, just let like, me know. If you are new to a school, focusing on the school, like doing your schoolwork and then having friends is going to come naturally. At least it does with me. If you're used to moving around, it's definitely going to come naturally. I'm um, sorry, I keep looking. <laughs> She's playing with my sandals. <laughs> but, um, so I was a military brat, so I moved around a lot. Um, it was hard for me, but also a good thing because it made me really outgoing. So if you're, in, you went to the same school, same area, and you just all of a sudden moved and you're so, like, you're so against, like, making new friends, da, 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 whatever the case may be, I say my biggest thing, you need to open up 
and just find new people and if people talk to you don't be snobby just be sweet and my I know this sounds weird this is gonna sound so weird but looking good your first day first week is a key thing to being the new girl because not I'm not talking about guys I'm talking about having friends because if you if you haven't showered in days if you look like you do not care and you have the RBF face on all the time then you are freaking gonna just freaking scare people off so you're not gonna have friends so what I do is I look presentable like as if you're going to an interview your first impressions mean everything so you look presentable and that way you have good first impressions with your teachers too um and maybe get a couple cute outfits you don't have to wear dresses or guys you don't have to wear like a suit like no nobody can do that but dress nice your first week because then you will I know it sounds so weird but you will make a lot of friends I always have done that and I made a lot of friends and they'd be like oh my god your outfit is so cute and I'd be like oh girl thank you oh my gosh want to be friends like not really like that but that is literally how me and Leanna um, the girl, you, the blonde girl you saw on my channel, um, in one of my videos, uh, how she was, me and her, she, I had this cute romper on my first day, and she's like, oh my god, that romper is so cute, by the way, and I was like, oh, thank you, and then, like, we sat by each other at lunch, and, um, I called her over to my table, and we started being friends, like, girls are like that, for guys, on the other hand, I don't think you really dressing nice doesn't really do much for you i mean dressing cool you know got the new shoes on got the nice fit on i think you'll do good because then people will be like oh those shoes are cool like where'd you get them like da, 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 da. but guys it's easier i feel like for them to make friends i don't know just as long as you don't look nerdy like but you know do your own thing L don't try to be someone you're not that's the biggest thing don't try to be fake don't try to um be clicky or whatever um as for school supplies that's one thing i forgot to touch on if you are a freshman do not be that freshman that gets everything god i can't tell you how many times i have seen this even on my freshman year i didn't really get like all that like you really don't need a lot your first year is your your <laughs> Your first day, you find out what you need. Your teachers have you write it down or whatever the case may be. You need, your first day, you need a piece of paper, a pencil, a eraser, maybe a pen. So what I have, I have, um, first of all, seniors don't really need much and I'm going to be in a lab most of the time. So I got this little bag and I've always carried around a bag actually. Last year I carried around um, like a backpack type thing and it was my first year during high school carrying around a backpack. Um, and then the year before I carried around, it's not this one but it's similar to that and it's a bigger, it was a bigger tote. And then sophomore year and then freshman year I had an MK, MK purse because we didn't need a lot of stuff. Um, actually, half of freshman year, I had a backpack, but I just got rid of it because I didn't have, I didn't need a lot of stuff. So I'm telling you, don't go out of your way and buy all the school supplies that you're not going to need. So in my bag, I have a spiral notebook and um, two mechanical pencils, and it was like a packet. I just opened it. It was a packet, and it came with two extra erasers and then a uh, lead. So that'll last me a while. These mechanical pencils are really good actually. And I prefer mechanical pencils because you don't have to get up and sharpen it. And not a lot of teachers have sharpeners these days. So people use mechanical pencils all the time. Um, and if you wanna get yourself a pen, get yourself a pen. But the first day you really don't need a lot. I mean, I, if you prefer a backpack, get a backpack. But I just like, I think it's classy to have a purse. I don't know. It's <laughs> it's my biggest thing. I love having a purse and it's convenient. You just pull your stuff right out. I hope y'all took something from this video, even though I was kind of rambling. Um, it was my first time back in five months. So I apologize. I love you guys so much. And I, this was long overdue. But I know some of y'all have already started school. I haven't. I start tomorrow. So this is just further reference for y'all. 
Um, if you haven't started school, good luck. And I love you guys so much. Like I said, I'm going to be coming out with more videos, more content. Share this post, please. Like and subscribe and comment video suggestions and any questions you'll have for me, please do. Um, I'm going to do Q&A soon because obviously so much has changed about me and I'm going to do story times and keep y'all informed in my life. Alright, I love y'all. Have a good day.